Well, this is today's project. Uh, we've been given these and we've been given a brief. A Mr. H. Lecter in America sent us over these, uh, no they're not, they're red deer antlers. These are from the Harewood Estate actually just round the corner so they've been picked for us. And the Harewood Estate uh, would like an antler chandelier and we thought well too good an opportunity to miss for a film so here we are we've got seven antlers here we need six of them one of them's for something else and we're gonna make an antler chandelier today for you so yeah let's get going let's get making that's my thing let's get making i'll do that i'll step forward and then deliver the yeah, line and i lose focus and it just becomes okay. a shit show let's wow. get let's get <laughs> making <laughs> Okay, so welcome back to Dirty Shed Creations. We've what should people do if they're here for the first time out? Subscribe, like and subscribe and comment. Yeah, comment, send, send like. Send us money. What? Yeah. Send us money. Send us money. Uh, small gifts are always welcome, small aren't gifts, they? Yeah, uh, gratuities of any type. Yeah. Weekends away in um, nice bed and breakfasts are always sought out by the Dirty Shed crew. Yeah. So yeah, I mean these are absolutely stunning. I mean, this one's still got deer poo on the the actual antler section. So, the, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll do some work on these, and then we'll wash them all down and let them dry. Five, six, seven, eight, sixteen points. So I think that's an imperial stag. Royal stag being twelve point, imperial being over fourteen. There's names for one, two, three, for each portion of the antler. And I've forgotten those because it's quite a crazy word. It's like a very old word, which you can imagine. So we'll find that out. So there's a name for the first set of horns, the mid set, and then the top set. <laughs> Sorry, points, not horns. So, yeah. I've got to work out how this is going to... Our problem being that they really need to fit end to end, if that makes any sense. That's probably going to go like that. And then that one is the wrong way on because of the orientation of the point. Left hand side points. So that will work like that. Somehow. Which is essentially forming a triangle. So that's what we've got to do. A little pyramid. Pyramid, yeah, pyramid. I think what we'll probably do is we'll get this built and then we will um, kind of spray lacquer after we've given them a power hosing just to remove all the, the mud and crud. We need contiguous surfaces. We need surfaces that are touching. Contiguous? Yeah. You are. Wow. Contiguous surfacing. So That's a so, Scrabble winner, that one. So, and then that could be either up or down. I actually think that might look better if it was down, if this was actually the the underside of the chandelier, a very grand term for it. Uh, we're going to drill, we're going to have to drill through the antler. Most people would say, why don't you just use a screw? I don't want to see a screw head there, I think it'll look as ugly as crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill through. We are then going to put a rivet, a nail, through and then put a little, well probably come in from, so one, the head of the nail will be here, we'll drill through probably there because we've got nice surfaces that are touching. What we'll do on the other side is a little steel washer and we'll either try and peen over that washer with a little hammer, not damaging the antlers, or zap zap zap, little zap of tack weld on the back, that'll hold it all together. Uh, so what we're going to do today is exactly what I said. So if you weren't listening, rewind, watch all that bit again, and then come back to this point, time stamp it mark. It's a great little project, really interesting. Um, these things retail for a hideous amount of money. I mean like, you know, I, I've seen these three antler, or these six antler setups, mark, um, selling for like 700 pounds in the UK, which is probably what, $850? Yeah. So, you know, it's a serious kind of piece of kit. Um, we've got some constraints, we've got some time constraints, uh, but we just, you know, this is one we couldn't resist. We had to bring this to you guys because um, I don't know, I haven't even researched how anyone else has made these things, um, but this is how I'm gonna make it. So yeah, stick with us. This is gonna be a really interesting one. And where are these gonna live? 
these commissioned. These this are, is our second commission, isn't it? It is our second commission. These are going to live mm -hmm. at uh, Calm Down Mark. I'm sorry. These are going to live at. Hold that camera straight, for God's sake. Is that my best side? Um, <laughs> we're going to. Uh, these are going to live at Harewood House. So Harewood House are doing a little bit of a development at the moment. Uh, maybe we could. Uh, you could pull up some images of Harewood House for people. Big maybe I won't. Sounds like a ball lake. Yeah, it sounds like a ball lake. Uh, big stately home just down the road from us. Uh, they have their own herd of deer which they kind of, uh, I presume, farm, would you say? I mean, they farm it for meat because there's places you can buy the venison. So um, the antlers, these antlers are dropped antlers. So no deers have been killed in the making of this film. These, essentially, they grow a set of these every year. Um, I've worked in bone before. We do have to be a little bit careful about kind of breathing the dust. And what have you done to precaution that? Bugger all. Yeah, nice one. So for you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I know. No, um, we do. We, we're not going to be. We're not sanding. We're going to be drilling. So hopefully the drilling will be sharp. Uh, will be um, like a, what would you call it? Swarf antler swarf rather than dust. A fine dust. We aren't sitting and sanding these and polishing them. We are going to wash them, but we're going to stick them together first. And then we're going to power hose the whole lot. Is that a look thing or is it a time thing? It's a time thing because I don't now want, we, we don't need people to see us power hosing a load of antlers. I think we can just do that at the end um, before and then let them dry. I don't really want to work in them in here when they're all wet through. So we found some nails, uh, nothing amazing about these. They're just a round headed nail. Uh, so the idea is that, that is, well, there's one of our points. It's going to go through like that. This is the underside. So this essentially will be flipped like so. So it's like this, it's like that currently, but when it's up and hanging, it's going to be the underside. So we'll have the nice head. We've got to get rid of this galvo uh, just because that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little technique that we picked up from um, Black Bear Forge. Thank you very much. I do follow his channel. Mortar stain remover, but this is essentially, what is it? It's hydrochloric acid. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put on a pair of glovage. Very dangerous acid. Uh, so let's take some precautions. In fact, that is a point. Sorry, we're not going to do this in the shed. If you take an acid like this outside, it can sometimes, if it's really strong, boil. And what it does is you, you, you pour an inch into the bottom of this. And what happens is it's so reactive, it's such a reagent, that what it does is it pulls water molecules out of the air. So it actually increases in volume and then it will spill over the sides. The other thing this stuff does, which you'll see out here is, it's a relatively warm day today. <sighs> There's no kind of steam in our breath. It's not, it's not, it's just, this is an important thing. Okay. Um, it's a warm day, but you watch this when I pour this, this will steam. Take that off. We're just going to pop a little bit of that in there with my glasses on. These want to stay in there long enough to get the zinc off, but not long enough to dissolve. We left them in there overnight, they might dissolve. Look at that now. It's reacting, taking all that off. Show us one. Well, it's all foaming up, so it's still, still reacting. We'll just leave those for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Right, okay, those are in there. So we're gonna, hi, welcome along. So we're gonna leave those nails in there now for five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna go out, neutralize the solution, uh, dispose of it safely, and um, yeah, and then get on with the project. Ow. That's the second time that's happened, so let's do something about that, shall we? Um, there's always a pokey. <laughs> there's always a pokey and a drop. Uh, okay. Suppose, <gasps> suppose you need to deal with this now, don't you? Yeah, well, um, like the beard's gone and then what's this severeness all about? Well, um, it's I tend to have like one haircut a year or two haircuts a year and I've just had that. And he always does quite a severe job, even though I tell him I don't want it to look shaved or anything else. Yeah, they just basically give me the haircut that they want me to have. I just hope it grows back for you. Yeah, yeah. Hope it, this isn't the start of something terrible. So what's pointing upwards now will be what it, people are looking up at. Looking up at, yeah. So we, we, I think we, we, we're all wanting to, to look at points rather than look at... 
Ah, there's always a dropsy. Yeah. We can go through there, there. We can go through there. And we can go through there. So I think that is what we will do. Are you going to just wrap them together now when they're in that position so they stay there? Yeah, you're right actually. Well, you're welcome. You know, I've made a lot of these things. How's your channel, Mark Makes Some Garbage? <laughs> how's, your, how's that channel coming along? Well, that's a, what all my channels are, aren't they? Mark Makes Some Garbage. <laughs> oh, it's a good job we know each other so well, because if we didn't, I'd freaking hate you. <laughs> Let's just, now we've done that. So that's going to be down. Oh yeah. Okay, like so. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Very Tim Burton-esque, isn't it? Well, Beetle it, juicy. It, yeah, kind of. So let's see. So we've got that coming across, that coming across, that coming back. That looks good. Oh. Wow, it's, it's really a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. See, those would look better being, I think, with the points out. But we can do that. What kind of lights are you putting well, in? Well, it just looks to me like a standard bayonet fitting, which there's going to be three of them. I mean, I almost think actually what we should do with this is tie with the, the string and have a pendant fitting and have the bulbs kind of just hanging down here. I'm doing the milking. Uh, I think that would look better. For a future one, would it be possible to design the metalwork in there and well like... this is the other option if we were really going high end with this i think where these would look amazing is if if we fabricated up a big steel ring yeah hammer textured it and then attach these to the steel ring and then had like all the brass like we did on the mar uh, on the maritime lamp that's what we're going to get to but this is a this is a different this is this is a commission. This is a commission, and he's been very specific about what he wants. Well, there we have it. Very, very simply, what we've done is just dissolve, dissolve the zinc off there, and there we go. So that now means that there's no danger when we're welding it of breathing those toxic fumes. Those are the ones we're using. So all oh, there's just a slight remainder of zinc on there. Doesn't matter though. I've done it before where I've burnt the zinc off these without, but honestly, there's white smoke billowing out of there, completing that nightmare. Oh yeah, I can remember that smell. Years ago I made this nail making kind of jig. It actually perfectly fits that. So we're gonna just put some hammer texture on there. Looks oh. like it's handmade, yeah? So we, we're gonna put the head on the underside. What we're going to do to hold that in place? Uh, Chewing gum. Blue tack. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh. No one gets an armpit shot quite like me. No, not quite like <laughs> camera boy. Oh, hi, Al Watson. Oh, we're clamping. What's that red dust that's coming out of that Well, one? I dread to think, Mark, but I mean, essentially it will be, I Bill. presume, bone marrow of some bloody description. So what I'm just trying to do... Okay, again, there. Right. With the clamps! I like it. There we go. Ferreting around. One, two, three. That looks good. So we're looking for mild steel little washers like so that are going to go like that and then zap 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 with the uh with the welder so let's trim that bang
just a little bit round here. All together now. Are you trying to find more of those washers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. Um, what I do is if I ever end up with any like packets of screws from kind of various bits and pieces, they get chucked in here. And then it always gives me this little thing, this little kind of thing I can go at, essentially. In a no, they're, they're in here, mate. They, they're under. They're obviously because they're small. They drop to the bottom, so they're under everything. Look, there's another one. But is that stainless? No, it's mild. So yeah, there you go. There's two. This was the big question in this project, how these would go together, you know? Are you happy with how it's going there? I, I am actually, mate, yeah. Good. But it's you know, far me. more fun to hang around with when things are going well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you tell me what's next, man. Zoop, zoop. Oh, good. I was wondering if you were paying any attention at all, to be honest. Which way do we go? That kind of thing? What do yeah. You think? What do you think it would be better? That one looks a bit busy for me. Do you think those like that? Yeah. I think that looks enclosed. That looks cool, man. And it sits pretty much dead in the middle as well. Look, I think you're going to struggle to do that with them pointing outwards. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Should we just try have it? Have a look. Yeah, absolutely. So let's. Keep I those... think that's the way, though. What's that on there? Oh, good grief! What? <laughs> Is it well? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That lens is fun. I don't know though, what I'm trying to do is just get an idea of whether we have them in or out. What do you think? I think out looks really quite cool. If you're looking up at that, it doesn't have the size. Yeah, but it, it, the, the points are coming out from it like that. So everything's on the outside. The points there point down and then we want the outside, I think. Otherwise you're hiding the antlers. You want the points to be out. I think what this is going to be is a case of fitting one, fitting one of these antlers pointing outwards and, and just doing it that way. It's your project, man. 